lifers it's your girl stay haul rocking her running for your life t-shirt and don't forget if you're interested in the t-shirt leave me a comment let me know i'll give you the instructions on how to purchase one because these are going to be our tribe shirts amongst some other ones that i have in the works now i know you guys were waiting to hear about the six mile run that actually turned into be a seven mile run so let me give you the skinny on that skinny get it because i'm getting skinny Anywho, I did it, I made it, but as you see, I didn't get back with you guys on Saturday, but today is Sunday, just a day later, and I have recuperated, I've made it, and it wasn't that bad. I felt like I wanted to quit sometimes, but I didn't, I kept pushing. I think the biggest thing that got to me yesterday was I did too much the day before uh, by the way of like detox. I thought I was gonna like, you know, make my body light as a feather. I got this six mile run. I was off on Friday, so I, I just did too much. I did this detox bath with um, a whole thing of baking soda, a whole box of baking soda, two cups of Epsom salt, sat in that for like 30 minutes and it really gets all of the toxins out of your body. It's really a good bath to take. Um, just to kind of purify your system, but you don't want to do it at 10 o'clock the night before you're going to have a long run. And I drank smooth move tea and we all know what that's about. So that was another detox. But again, in my mind, I was thinking I'm going to get ready and be light as a feather. But what I really did was kind of dehydrate myself because I didn't give enough time for me to get all that back in. So my cousin told me it would be better to do that. Like maybe only once every couple of weeks and do it the day before an off day so then I can replenish. So that kind of got to me and had me struggling. And then I wasn't prepared for the run back to be running into the sun. So I didn't have my uh, sunglasses and my hat. And the thing is, like I've been talking about with that negative self-talk, once I realized what I had done wrong, because I told her that when we were on our way to the trail, I'm like, yeah, I did my bath last night and I did my smooth move tea, so I'm all light and ready to go. And she was like, girl, why did you do that the night before run? You know you really pretty much dehydrated yourself. This is gonna be a tough run. And then um, when she said, where's your hat and sunglasses? Remember I told you on these morning runs, um, we're going to be running into the sun because the sun wasn't up yet when we got started. And so, of course, I started my run with that stuff in my head. And so I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be miserable. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I'm dehydrated. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to pass out. And so that probably made it a lot worse. But I made it. Um, it wasn't, I, I didn't honestly feel like I was going to die. I mean, maybe close, but not, not really. But the wonderful thing about it is I'm already noticing positive changes in my body. I'm noticing I'm starting to slim down in areas where it was really hard for me to slim down before. I'm noticing that I have more energy. I'm noticing that I'm sleeping better at night. So even though it wasn't the best feeling when I did it, there's just no way I could quit because I've never gotten results like this so quickly with anything else which of course leads me to another inspirational moment. And I get those all the time on these runs, how all of this just relates so directly to our day-to-day -day lives. It's like, how many times are we working so hard for something and we're not sure if we want to do it? And you know, like whether it's working on a project for work to get a promotion or working in school to get a degree or whatever it is and there's just those times when it's like what did i get myself into why am i doing this and then you might make a mistake along the way and it's just like you know what i'm not even getting this right i need to just throw in the towel and give up now but when we push through and persevere at the end you feel so good and you know another thing that i think about when um, I'm doing those kind of comparisons, it's just like childbirth. You are, you know, going through childbirth and the labor pains and you're so tired and you feel like, oh my gosh, why am I doing this? I'm never having another baby again and this is just the worst thing in the world. But as soon as you see that baby and the result of all your efforts and all that pain, it's just like you forget all about it. And that's how I am now. I'm just like, you know what, Saturday, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but the results that I'm getting, 
there's no way I'm gonna quit. I ran seven miles. It was only supposed to be six, right? So when we get finished, um, I'm asking my cousin, I said, so, you know, did we run? Cause she has the app on her phone that, you know, lets us know and tracks everything. And I said, so did we um, do an even six? You know, she was like, well, closer to seven. And I'm like, what? And she said, well, I knew we might take a couple of times just to kind of walk a little bit to catch our breath. And I know you're new at this, so I didn't want to overwhelm you, but I really wanted you to get a six mile run in. So I added an extra mile in there to make up for the times that we might walk. So you really did seven miles, but you ran closer to six. I'm like, for real? And she said, yeah, I need to let you know sometimes I fib a little bit because I don't want you to get too in your head. But yeah, that's that's what I do. When I feel like we might need to take a couple of little walk breaks, I'll just add a mile or two in so that you're still walking or running the full whatever miles for the day. So really, so again, y'all know me. I need credit. I did seven miles because we didn't walk that much at all. So, um, and I'm thinking, how are you going to account for that? Maybe I don't need to walk all the time, but we're going to do extra miles for no reason. <laughs> too. Like when we were finished, I ate a couple of almonds, drank some homemade Gatorade, um, which is really good. So I will uh, let you guys know about that. And again, when I get a little bit more savvy at this, I'm going to start doing some how-to videos and showing you guys, you know, how I prepare my meals and what I do for the homemade Gatorade because that Gatorade, it's still that you can get from the store that has artificial colors and sweeteners and stuff. And I'm really trying to eat clean. So I made some Gatorade and I drank that down, ate a handful of almonds, got my energy, and I was good to go for the rest of the day. Let's move on to these t-shirts. This is another Running For Your Life t-shirt. I don't think this is the one that I wore last time. I actually wore this one to church today, kind of jazzy with one of my skirts and heels, kind of dressed it up in my jewelry and everything. But these, I believe, are going to be the t-shirts for my women's conference because I'm really digging this whole style. Um, I may add the scripture that I'm going to be using for the conference to it just to tie it more in with the conference. But you guys let me know because these are by Exodus and I know I've put their information in previous videos, but I will put it in the description box again today. Fabulous, fabulous fabric, quick turnaround, excellent customer service, did exactly what I asked for. So I will definitely make sure I put their information in the description box. So if you have any t-shirt needs, and what I love about them is you don't have to order like a hundred t-shirts. If you just need a few, they will hook you up. They're really, really good. Moving on to the next thing, this hair. What are you guys thinking about the fro? I wore it all out today for the first time. I mean, no bobby pins, no twisties, no nothing. I just, I did it myself. I was watching YouTube University, watched a bunch of videos. And so I did the three strand twist, which I guess is pretty much just a flat or a braid. Did that yesterday. I used the lock method. So I used my Aussie leave-in conditioner and then I used some Shea Moisture Cream and I used castor oil, the Jamaican black castor oil. Put that in my hair yesterday and just um, parted it right here and I did a bunch of little plaits going this way, some going that way. Tied it up, slept in it overnight this morning, undid them all and just kind of put a little oil on my hands and fingered through it and just brought the roots up a little bit with the pick. So what do y'all think? I was kind of feeling this today. I have never, ever in my life worn my hair anywhere close to this. And especially today, I was going to church. I had to sing. I knew I was going to be in front of people. And I was so nervous last night when I was doing it. And I said, well, if it doesn't look right, I can always just do the, you know, big puff on top of my head because that's always a go-to thing because that's good. But I thought it turned out kind of cute. So let me know. I'm really enjoying the whole natural vibe because with the running and the sweating, there is no way I could have been dealing with heavy braids or sew-ins, you know, where you can't really get to your scalp good. It just feels good to be able to come in from a long run in the heat and just get in the shower and just let the water just hit you and not have to worry about your hair or to be out there running and not worrying about your hair swelling up. Because yesterday when I ran, I wore it in two little mini mouth puffs and it was kind of, it just feels so moisturized and so healthy. I mean, and look at that spring back. I mean, it has a lot of curl. I mean, I did not think I was going to be able to handle this, but it has been a breeze. It's so much easier dealing with this than when I had the sewing. I said, my only regret is that I did not do it sooner. And it's just so funny how the world will convince us that we need lashes, we need uh, 
18 inch weave we need you know all this stuff when really we are just naturally beautiful the way god made us and that is what i'm embracing and it's just so funny how with all the stresses in life that we have to deal with why do we pile all this extra stuff on us like hair and makeup and weaves and you know and don't get me wrong i did it for years so i'm not judging it's just eye-opening and refreshing to realize that everything I need to make it in this world, God gave it to me already. So why am I adding all this extra stuff if it's stressing me out? And for me, it was getting to a point where it was a burden. I had too much to do to be trying to keep up with this appointment for my hair, this appointment for my lashes, this appointment for whatever. No, I, I got lashes, I got hair, I need to be happy with the ones God blessed me with and just rock those. And not to say on a special occasion or, you know, vacation, I might not do something different, but I'm just talking about being burdened down with that daily. There's no way. And it's like once I took off the lashes, I realized I had ripped out most of my real lashes. So now I have to work on growing back what I already had just to add some more to it. And it didn't really make that big of a difference. So I know I'm going on a break. But it's just the lies we tell ourselves where we think we have to keep up with this one, keep up with that one. And we're hiding our natural beauty underneath a bunch of falsehoods. And so I've just really been feeling good about that. Just walking proud with, you know, I would have never, y'all don't understand, I would have never worn my hair out before. So I'm just glad I finally had the courage. So anyway, guys, as usual, I want to remind you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lifers. If we're going to be a tribe, I need to know who you are. So subscribe to my channel. Make sure you look me up on other social media, at Stay Hall. Also, if you like the video, like it. I mean, like really like it with a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends because I am trying to build a huge tribe. I know there are other women out there who want to discuss the things that we're discussing, who want to go on this journey with us, and I just need them to be a part of this. And they're not going to know if you don't tell them. I mean, I'm telling people, but I don't know a lot of people. So you guys know everybody. So just tell them, share the video, let them know what's up. I want to hear about your journeys too. So don't forget to comment. Okay. And so tomorrow I have another rest day. Not sure if I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow or not, but once I get into Tuesday, I'll be hitting the pavement and running to, again. And today's not a rest day. I got to remind y'all, I have to walk three miles today. So don't think I'm taking it easy. Tomorrow's the rest day. But today my husband and I'll be taking a three mile walk just to get the blood flowing. But anyway, guys, love you a lot, lifers. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, and comment. See you next time. Bye-bye.